mental health in Nigeria, um, I, I would say it's on the come up. Um, a lot more people are recognizing that mental health is even a thing worth, you know, considering or worth taking seriously. But that's just the first thing I think when I think of mental health in Nigeria. It's on the rise and we're now beginning to take it seriously. Um, I think I've struggled with anxiety and depression for about two, three years. I know in law school it reached a peak, so I think um, yeah, law school was when I was like, okay, I'm really battling right now. And obviously I had dealt with some losses, like I had lost the love of my life, he died, and I just started feeling like, you know, I had no one else in the world and there was no hope for me. So yeah, and then obviously in law school, I was also doing something that I didn't really feel was gonna fulfill me in life. So I started getting a lot of anxiety from there, you know, knowing, am I making the right decision? Am I going to have a good life? Am I ever going to fall in love again? You know, so I just had a lot of emotions and thoughts running through my mind. But yeah, I have my good days and my bad days. The bad days, I sleep, <laughs> I pray. Yeah, I really relied on God heavily throughout all of this. And then I just try and do things that make me feel good. You know, I go out, I even if I just put my makeup on and take cute pictures, like I just do something to make me feel good. Okay, so if a friend or a family member had a mental health challenge, I would just try and talk them through it, see how they're feeling. Um, also suggest some like self-help books or something. So definitely I have seen people, you know, being like abused because of their mental health issues, especially as a lawyer dealing with people in the criminal justice system they don't really take cognizance of like mental health issues as like a defense you can have or they just throw you on the side like i've been for a number of trials where you can see somebody is clearly having a mental health breakdown and everybody's just acting like oh they're mad just leave them on the side we'll try them and just you know do with them as we wish so yeah i've seen a, a lot of abuse of mental health patients what the government should do with regards to mental health care in Nigeria is to first of all reform all their re rehabilitation slash welfare services because they are clearly not working within the mandate that they are meant to be focused on. You see the social development secretariat now for example they are the ones doing the um, Abuja raids on women but isn't the social development secretariat meant to be involved in some form of like you know mental health rehabilitation even we need more rehabilitation centers so i think the government needs to aside from taking these issues seriously and putting the necessary infrastructure in place they also need to raise consciousness and awareness amongst just nigerians because so many people, if they had a friend or a family member dealing with mental health issues, wouldn't even know what was going on, talk less of how to handle it. So awareness raising and also infrastructure, those are the two things that I think that the government seriously needs to step up on. I would say depression leads a lot of young people to suicide and anxiety about their future and you know just their general well-being. I've known a few people attempt suicide um, but I've never known someone who's actually gone through with it, but I know multiple people who have attempted suicide. Okay, so my message to the world on suicide and mental health is to recognize it. You know, we actually need to start appreciating that this is a real thing that's affecting a whole lot of people, especially young people. And so we need to open our eyes to it and know that it's real and now start looking for practical ways that we can help people through their mental health struggles so that they don't think that suicide and ending their life is the only answer to overcoming the struggle. Mind over matter.